Hi, I'm Peter Mark Jacobson, and you've got Fran Drescher's gay ex-husband. We met in high school. She had this big Farrah Fawcett hairdo and these huge high heels, and I thought, well, you know, I should have known I was gay now. That's what I was looking at. But she was so beautiful, and I walked over to her and I said, hi, my name's Pete, and she goes, hi, I'm Fran. And I thought, this has got to be a joke. Thank God it wasn't, because uh, as she has put it, we call the voice the cash cow. And uh, we've made a career out of her voice, so um, I write it and she says it. A friend and I started basically um, sitting in a basement watching sitcoms to writing sitcoms, and we created The Nanny. We've been working together since we were 15, basically. Three years. I grew up in the 50s. I mean, I was born in the 50s, in a, in a small town, Flushing, Queens, where I, I didn't even know what gay was. And I loved Fran, I was attracted to Fran, it wasn't like I was living a double life, it was just that something always bugged me that I didn't know why I was attracted to men too. And I would get very, very controlling, and that's sort of what drove the marriage apart. And once I faced my truth, then things became much easier for me because I knew that this was right. I still love Fran, we vacationed together, and that's sort of when Happily Divorce came because we were on a vacation together and immediately we started acting like we did when we were married. We got in this big fight and we looked at each other and said, this could be a funny movie. TV Land had called Fran to pitch some ideas for a show and they said, what would you do if you were starring in a show? And she said, well, that would be easy, it's me, my ex-gay husband and my boyfriend and our weird relationship. And then she said, do you want me to pitch the other shows that I have for you? And they said, no, don't bother because we just bought that one. <laughs>